Hello ladies and gentlemen, the unknown species. Welcome back. As always, I'm Exitobytes. And today, we're back here in the field, uh, the core field. And we, if you come back to where we fought Chronomon DM, um, we will be able to find Chronomon HM. And Chronomon HM, if you remember last time in the finale, pretty much, uh, he was like wounded and whatnot. So now we can, now he's healed and we can fight him. Uh, he's incredibly difficult. He's also level 68, so I've been doing a ton of grinding, and um, I, my Digimon are really, really, really overpowered right now. Aside from that, uh, I did change some of the Digivolutions for some of them. But let's fight him, and HM stands for Holy Mode. I believe last episode I had no idea what DM and HM stood for. HM stands for Holy Mode, and DM stands for Dark Mode. Um, I was having a tough time fighting this guy, so I went online looking, hey, maybe, maybe other people were struggling, see how, how they didn't lose their madness. Oh, I'm like super overpowered. Some of my Digimon have like maximum health right now. Okay, anyways, um, whoa, awesome. Uh, we're gonna use Rose Rapier. Uh, anyways, my Digimon stats, some of them are maxed, like, um, my Slam City, he has maximum attack. Um, I believe Love City has maximum speed, and then Lila City has maximum spirit. I believe that's how it is. Um, the stats are super, 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 super high, but aside from that, look at that. We defeated them. Yeah, see, these are my stats. Maximum spirit. Maximum spirit. And... Looks like Lappy City is about to have maximum spirit and maximum speed. Aside from that, though, I've been grinding a lot. I also got some things to help me boost my stats and whatnot. So my stats are boosted for reasons like that. You can just leave your game on, farm, while you're sleeping. Let the Digimon do their farm things. Aside from that, we defeated Chronomon, and when you do defeat him, you get his Digi thingy. You can Digi-convert him. So we're going to do that right now. We're not going to view the Kalamon report. Uh, yeah, so if you want, you can just leave your game on. Just put them in a farm. Uh, put the best equipment and whatnot in the farm and just leave your game on leave it charging or if you're emulating it leave your computer on make sure it's charging if it's a laptop make sure the power is probably not going to go out and whatnot anyways uh, also uh, when you have 15 mega digimon and you complete quest 17 um you get a bonus mission this is optional and this is where you fight the seven demon lords and this is going to be the absolute end of the game um It'll be like two or three parts of, of the of the demon lords and then we'll be completely done with it. So Barbamon is one of the demon lords. Lucimon CM is one of the other demon lord. Uh, Leviamon is another one of the demon lords. Lilithmon is another one of the demon lords. Belzamon is another one of the demon lords. Belfamon, I believe, is the king of the demon lords or something around those lines. And Daemon is the first one that we have to fight, who in the Hard Mountains. Aside from that, though... Yes, I'm going to take them on. I'm brave, I'm going to defeat all the demon lords, and I will be careful. But before we do any of that, I'm going to go back into the Digi Farm. So I can show off Lucimon. Uh, excuse me, not Lucimon. Um. Oh, apparently I can't. I can't show off Chronomon HM. Okay. Oh no, yes I can. Oh, I thought I couldn't show him off for some reason. Because it wasn't letting me. Alright. And here's Lucimon. Um, excuse me. Why do I keep saying Lucimon? <laughs> what the heck is wrong with me? Here's a uh, Chronomon. He's going to be. Um, he can't. He can't. He can't. Uh, degenerate. 
um, he's a mega stage and his max up is already 99. You, in order to max up, max up his stats is only in the farm and leveling up him up to 99, of course. But there's no other way. Unfortunately, it's really kind of lame. And so we're, we're not really going to name him. I mean... Yeah, we're not going to... We're just going to leave his name the same. I don't really care about him. Okay, so we're going to go to... See Lu um, Daemon, and Daemon is going to be in Hard Mountains where we saved uh, by Human. So I'll meet you guys there. All right, we're here by Daemon, and since he's the first one, we're gonna fight him. So here's one of the demon lords. He is in three zones, but. It's not going to be a problem at all. So, this has a chance of causing instant death. I don't know if it works on bosses, but it might. So, I'm just going to use it, even though I can use... Never mind. I guess it doesn't matter who I use, because look, I just totally won. And uh, we're going to use Bloody Claws. Exactly. You're dead. Yeah, that was easy. We got a Dragon Claw. I'm going to equip that onto my Dragon type. And the next one is going to be... Next fight. Come on. Digivice, do something. Beelzemon. Sky Palace. Okay. Uh, Beelzemon is going to be in the exact same spot that... Um, that Azulangman is, so I'm just going to meet you guys there. Purple chest here, and a ring. Alright, let's enter this portal and fight Beelzeman. Beelzeman is actually a Digimon that we can get, but the only way to get him is after you beat him. Not this time, well, we won't be able to get him just yet. But he does join our party. Kind of like how uh, Chronomon HM joins our party. But anyways, this is Beelzemon. Since he is a Digimon that we can get as a party member, he's only going to be in one zone. So, you know. But that won't be a problem for one reason and one reason only. I have the strongest attack ever, Ocean Love. That basically defeated Daemon in one hit. He barely survived. And look at that. Look at that. Beelzemon didn't even survive. But we did get a shield for our victory. Aside from that, though, next one is going to be... Who's the next one going to be? Yay, I beat Beelzeman. And it looks like it's Barbamon. In Lava River. Okay. Um, Barbamon is going to be in the exact same spot as where we saved Zuchaoman and also fought the Chiruima and, and whoever else we fought. So I'll just meet you guys there. Alright, going through this portal and right past this portal we will find... Barbamon! There's also a cliff right next to that portal if you saw. So after you beat Barbamon you can just jump off that cliff and go back to the beginning. So it's very convenient. So if you have to get out of here, just jump off the cliff. I mean, it's not really a cliff, but you know, I call it a cliff. Because it's cliff enough for me. Uh, yeah, let's just go for a Hydro Freeze. This probably will take him out. And they did. We got another ring. Aside from that, though, nothing else. And that's number three, so let's see who number four is. Probably Lilithmon, right? And yes, it is. We've armed mine. You're much stronger than I thought. I'll be in the Tropical Isles. Please come as soon. I'll be waiting. Okay, Tropical Isles. She's going to be in the same place where Ibawaman is. And the shortcut, you just come over here, jump down, and then enter the portal. So I'll meet you guys in Tropical Isles where Ibawaman was. That's where we saved him. Well, well, where we fought him and then saved him. Black chest with Berserk in it. This exact spot I just got into a battle, which is one step away from Lilithmon, or like three steps, but still. 
It's a bit ridiculous. Anyways, we're here with Lil where Lilithmon is, and we're gonna fight her. So this, I believe, is number four out of the seven. Uh, we don't fight all seven just yet. We're only be gonna be fighting six of them. So, you know, just a heads up if you guys wanted to know. Aside from that, though, I am going to be doing this attack because she's only in two zones, unlike um, some of the other ones who are in three zones. And uh, with that, we should defeat her. And with that, Lilithmon is down. Alright, there's only two more that we'll be fighting for now, but we did get a ring. And there's another cliff to jump off of. For the portal. Alright, who's gonna be the next one? Leviamon, probably. Yep, Leviamon. Alright, the undersea di drive is, um... Where we were supposed to fight Giga Seedramon, but instead we fought um, the Marine Angemon. So we're gonna jump off this, enter this portal, enter this portal, and there we go. And um, Marine Angemon, where we fought Marine Angemon, is at the end of the Hard Mountains, at the complete end, which is in the underground seas. So we're gonna just go there, and I'll meet you guys where. Um, Leviamon is. Alright, if you remember, this is where we fought Marine Angemon, and Leviamon is sitting right inside the shell. I am the Tamer King indeed. And I will prepare myself. So, Leviamon is going to be in four zones. I think he's the only Digimon who appears in four zones, which is interesting, at the very least. And with that being said, we're going to Lightning Arrow, which hits four zones, and he's dead. Goodbye. We got another ring. Aside from that, there's only one more for now. Well, for now, what I mean is for this video. That's what I meant last time when I said we're only going to be fighting six of them. And Lucimon CM. Corefield is what we're going to do next, so... The last thing on the agenda for today is to fight Lucimon in Corefield. So, let's go to Corefield and fight Lucimon. Lucimon is going to be in the place where we fought Kazuya. Um, it's... Oh, whoops. I forgot. Corefield is this way. It's like towards the middle of the thing it's like that big room you won't miss it if you just keep following this is the core field is like the most linear thing in the world so you'll find it so i'll meet you guys at lucy uh lucy mon cm Alrighty then and now we have lucy mon cm here yes thank you okay this will be rather interesting. So Lucimon CM, I believe he's in two zones, and I also believe he's the easiest to beat right now. Out of the six that we just fought, I believe he's the easiest. And I just defeated him. We get a hero ring. So, what's next? Nope, it's not a mistake, I don't think. Yes. Only one more left. Yep, Belfamon. Now come to the destroyed belt. This is a new area and also the absolute final area that we'll be able will be unlocking. You can expect it to be difficult. It is very, very, very difficult. It is also a huge place. Alright. So, next time, we'll be going to the destroyed belts. Thank you guys for all for watching. And until next time, don't forget to rub the rubber ducky. Destroyed belt is coming. Be prepared.